So the first thing that we can do is measure the diameter of this individual Douglas fir. And I'll, to do so, I'll use a tool that we've been introduced to before called the DBH tape. Again, DBH stands for diameter at breast height. But if as a teacher you don't have access to a DBH tape, uh, which is probably uh, likely, you can use a regular old measuring tape. So we're going to be using both, but I'll start with the DBH tape. You will recall from a previous module that the DBH tape is made up of uh, units on one side that is actually one inch multiplied by pi or 3.14. So if we actually use this side of the DBH tape, the side with the red numbers, we can determine directly the diameter of the Douglas fir or the diameter of the tree in question. So I'll do that now. Alrighty, so moving the DBH tape around the Douglas fir, we can see that it has a diameter of 18 inches. So what do we do with that number? What do we do with that 18 inches? Well, think back to geometry and the old area of a circle. Area is equal to pi r squared. Remember that basal area is going to be expressed as square feet. And the diameter that we just measured was in inches. So the first thing that we need to do is convert from inches to feet. So how many feet is 18 inches? So what do we do with that 18 inches, that diameter that we just measured? Well, you recall from geometry that we have to plug that into the old area formula. Area is equal to pi r squared. Remember that from geometry. Since we worked with diameter, the radius is one half the diameter. So if we had a diameter of 18 inches, that radius is equal to nine inches. And we have to convert from inches to feet since basal area is expressed as square footage or square feet. So area is equal to pi r squared. Our radius is nine inches. How many feet is that? Well, nine divided by 12, since there are 12 inches per foot, that comes to 0.75. So pi r squared, pi times 0.75 squared. If you do the math, whether it's on paper or calculator, that comes out to 1.77 square feet. So the area of the cross section of this tree is 1.77 square feet. So we will do that with all of the trees that are found in our radial survey plot. Well, as I mentioned, not everybody has access to a diameter tape, a DBH tape. But you can determine the basal area of this tree with just a regular old measuring tape. So that's what we're going to do here. If you can access a measuring tape from a hardware store, uh, you can determine the diameter of the tree by first measuring its circumference. So that will, that's what we'll do now. Okay, so using a simple measuring tape, I can see that this the circumference is actually what we're measuring with the measuring tape. We're not measuring straight diameter. We're using the measuring tape to measure circumference since measuring tapes aren't calibrated in the same way as diameter tapes. So the circumference here I have as 4.8 feet, which equates to 58 inches. So you recall from, recall from geometry that circumference is equal to pi times diameter. So what do we need to do with that circumference? Well, in order to determine the diameter, we need to take the circumference and divide by pi. So 58 inches divided by pi or 3.14 comes out to roughly 18 inches, which is the same diameter that we achieved with our DBH tape. 